It's been a week of protests around the country, including right here in Little Rock, Little Rock following the death of George Floyd. Today, protesters returned to the state capitol, and that is where we find our own Vanessa Page. Vanessa? Good evening, Hayden. Protests continue here at the Capitol for the eighth day in a row. Right now, protesters are making their way down the street, and there is a heavy police presence here on all sides of them. But the movement for the movement for peace started much earlier today with a rally over at the Hoover United Methodist Church. White allyship must be more than just good intentions and statements of solidarity. With signs, t-shirts, and a longing for peace, crowds are gathered at the steps of Hoover United Methodist Church. Together they kneel as a symbol of solidarity. Not only did people of color hear this message, but they heard it from a person that's white, how important it is for white people to be a part of this movement to dismantle systemic racism. Leaders in the movement for equality spoke about what it means to be a white ally to people of color. The number one thing is, especially if you're a white person, is to just listen to people of color. Listen. Stop, listen, and learn about what you can do, what we can do as white people. Being an ally is what Leslie Heister wants to teach her children to do. It's and important for me. I mean, I believe in, you know, white silence is you white consent, the like it, the sign says. By I think standing that um, with black people. I'm a mother, I have two young daughters, and I want, I don't, I want this world to change. I don't want this to keep happening over I'm not and over again. The crowd recites the names of those who have been killed, a list Edward Jones fears. And I'm here to make a stand because I'm the next victim. I'm the next one to be dead. If we don't stand and go to the mountaintop and stand on Martin Luther King's dream, then we will fall. Jones says this is a step in the right direction, and he looks forward to what's next. And Dr. Martin King also spoke, we need to get to the mountaintop. And it's time to get to the mountaintop. And if we don't take this time to get there, then we will not see it. The people I spoke to today say there is still a lot more work to be done before everyone's voice is heard. Reporting live in Little Rock, I'm Vanessa Page, THV 11 News.